This video will summarize the design process for a simple controller that stabilizes the walking gait of a simple, single-body walker. The plant model consists of two mast legs separated by angular distance alpha. The body is actuated by three reaction wheels located at the vertex. Each reaction wheel is aligned with one of the body's principal axes. The system dynamics are modeled as a hybrid system with two modes, one corresponding to each leg. Within each mode, the foot touching the ground can rotate freely, but is constrained to not slide along the ground. Let's take a look at the limit cycle for one of the simplest walking gates, marching in place. In this cycle, the only states that are changing are theta y, which is the angular height of the unconstrained foot, and its velocity. As seen in the plot, this cycle is discontinuous because of the transient dynamics between modes. Since the system does not naturally follow this limit cycle, we can divide the controller design into two parts, a parallel controller and a transverse controller. The parallel controller forces all states of the same phase to undergo the same accelerations. Here is the behavior of the system when just the parallel controller is used. Once on the limit cycle, the system stays on the cycle. However, perturbations away from the cycle cause the system to diverge. To stabilize the orbit, we will need to add the transverse controller. The transverse controller uses an excessive set of transverse coordinates. In particular, we can define the transverse coordinates as the original coordinates shifted to account for the phase. The parallel controller enforces equal accelerations across each phase, so there's no natural acceleration of the transverse coordinates. This is an example of transverse feedback equivalence. With the transverse coordinates being a simple linear system, a prime candidate for the transverse controller is LQR. With a large cost matrix applied to the states, we can observe that this controller causes the system to converge during both individual modes and for the hybrid system. However, if the cost matrix for the states is not sufficiently large, the hybrid system is no longer stable. The individual modes will slowly converge, but the divergence of the transient dynamics outpaces the convergence from LQR, rendering the system unstable. We solve this by selecting a new transverse controller and certifying its convergence with the Lyapunov function. If the candidate function is monotonically decreasing in time for each mode, as well as for the transient dynamics, then the controller is guaranteed to give the system orbital stability. This controller design also extends to more complex orbits. For example, by setting theta z to be sinusoidal in phase, we can achieve a stable forward marching cycle.